section for those that do not know and they open they crack open these books and we've discussed this before but it's kind of unique to you know you've got a character that's very famous melf who has uh, several spells named after this character for for some very specific reasons and we also have morinkainen is it true that morinkainen is effectively your father's character Yes, Morden Cannon was my dad's character. He named him after Vainumoyen from Finnish uh, myth- mythology uh, as a wizard. And that's that's how he came up with that. So most people were playing fighters and my dad wanted to be a wizard and, and uh, you know, cast, you know, weave arcane magics and control the world that way. So instead of being Conan. <laughs> did, did you ever get to play as Melf with your father playing uh, with- Morden Cannon? I, Morden Kenan was uh, an NPC that I interacted with a whole bunch because Melf worked for, uh, as a member of the Red Rampart Guard, he was, uh, worked for Morden Kenan helping him, uh, even though Melf is a good, goodly and Morden Kenan, uh, was neutral, he believed in maintaining the balance. And so I could see the utility of that. And in a world such as Great Hawk, where evil had advantage in many areas, the people who were seeking a balance were often working on the side of good. So I found a way to, to uh, be able to ally with Morden Kanan and, and, and advance his efforts uh, as, as long as they aligned with where Melf was going with, uh, uh, you know, being good. Melf was really a goody two shoes and he felt, he felt very self-important about advancing good and how, how important he was to this cause. So he, he had a big ego. I mean, Morgan Kane kind of strikes me as very much the dungeon master NPC, right? You know, this is someone who's sort of neutral, but causing you to get into trouble. The quest giver, right? Yes. Um, and, and Melf being the hero in all of this. Uh, what has it been like for like Melf to show up and you can continue the, to play this character for almost yeah. like 45 years yeah. with, you know, uh, celebrities, uh, friends people you would never think you have may maybe ever met and for you have this like so many years invested in a single character what is that like you have spells and and, and like, <laughs> like, like it's very, really an honor. very smart reason for those spells by the way <laughs> yeah yeah we've we have talked about those before uh but yeah that's uh, uh playing mouth is just yeah he was my my home character with my dad so it's a lot of great memories uh a lot of great memories there and i have learned to appreciate Melf and capabilities in different ways as I, as I have matured, right? I started playing as a, a kid, right? So uh, now as an, an adult, I see different facets and in different ways to implement his skill sets and, uh, uh, you know, maybe not always be neutral greedy, <laughs> you know, instead of, and, you know, NG, my abbreviation was neutral greedy. I was pretty, you know, I was definitely a treasure seeker, you know, I wanted to get that power so I could defeat uh, bad guys more so. It's a little bit more nuanced to play, but what an honor to be able to sit at the table with, you know, all these folks and help create some uh, really wonderful adventures, uh, you know, some super high quality uh, DMs and, and just great story arcs. So uh, I've enjoyed the ride and I hope I get to continue uh, doing so for many years to come. Thank you, Luke Gygax, for being on the show. We have more interviews with him coming up later. If you'd like to support more D&D videos like this, go to my Patreon page or just subscribe on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching.